When humans first came out of Africa about a million years ago, the first place they would have seen the grape is Lebanon. We know that according to some mythology, according to some legend, that Bacchus was the god of wine. In order for something to be great, it had to have life in it. It didn't have to necessarily taste good or taste bad. It was beyond that. It was about, was this made with love? Was this made with life? Does it still contain life? Does it inspire you to life? There is no stronger wine than a wine made in a region where there is war. We live in a bad neighborhood. With Israel to the south, we've now got a war-torn Syria to our east, and even within our own society, there's a lot of conflict, there's a lot of tension, there's a lot of friction. You were very, very aware of the fact that you were entering not a current war zone, but one that could return to being a war zone at any moment. This wine is being made in a civil war. How does that work? I never tasted any wine like it before. It was so distinctive. And it was not Bordeaux, it was not Burgundy, it was not trying to be anything. When I look at a bottle of wine, it's just grape juice with alcohol. That is what it is. And it is everything surrounding the bottle of wine. Religion, history, philosophy, culture, civilization, movement of mankind, that pulls me into this. And the great civilizations that say this is the region where you can plant grapes. This is the Bordeaux of the old world. Refugees. We are not refugees. We're adventurers. <laughs>